Coming to you from the fashion capital of Uganda, this is The Style Project and my name is Sylvia Owari. The Style Project is NTV's new fashion program that is aimed to inspire, educate and inform you about everything fashion. And this is global fashion, not just Ugandan fashion. We shall be bringing you fashion from all the red carpets all over the world, London, Paris, New York and of course not forgetting all our events and stuff that we're doing locally here in Uganda. So without further ado, I would like to introduce my first panelist, Linda Butari, aka Nunu, who is a mother, a poet, a fashionista, and she's fierce. Be very afraid. Welcome to the Style Project. Thank you very much. I'm honored to be here. Our next eye of fashion is Solomon Tazabon, who is a professional stylist and also the African woman fashion editor. Hi Solomon. Hi everyone. Hi, welcome to the Style Project. Thank you very much. I'm excited to be here. And last, I would like to introduce my our final panelist, Clay. Good to yes. see you. Hello. You guys look amazing. Thank oh. you. Oh you look God. awesome. And to kickstart the Style Project, we have Luzira Escape from Uganda Premier Red Carpet. It had its best and worst moments. We will start off with uh, Irene Namubiru. I mean, I would like to hear what you, what, you, what what you think of her dress. Irene really, really represented here. I think she did a great job. I love the uh, the earrings. I like the fact that her jewelry is minimal, but really, really comes out and brings out the red in the dress. You know what, Nunu, I totally agree with you because Irene is someone very predictable. Yeah. She's the kind of person that always has the big look, the big hair, or if not, that's not the case, she ties something around her head. Yeah. But this time she has a shortcut on the other side yeah, like and that. then she pinned it up. She probably needed a tighter fitting pair of spanks to just hold in her stomach. Yeah. Exactly. Because she was wearing long, slim dress. I think this is one of the best I have seen Irene look. Yeah. And next, our very own NTV's Be My Date, Fabiola and her sister Sharon. Nunu, what do you think about their look? I'm not sure about the hair. And uh, I, I, th I think she should have held up the hair because of the collar. I'm assuming that's a collar or a necklace. Mm -hmm. And I think if she had held up her hair, the outfit would have looked really pretty. But I like the accessories, the shoes and everything. I think her friend needed a bit more of jewelry. Like, can we know that she has pierced ears? Is it just about her she has hair? Pins. She has pins. What are those studs? Yeah. Well, my eyes can't see that. Yeah. And then for Anita's <laughs> case, I totally agree with the, with the hair. Mm. If you have decided to do such a kind of look, I mean, this is less is more. Yeah. So we need to see a better look. You know, probably you're holding back your hair. Mm. Don't have that blonde hair going yes. on, you know, exactly. out there. Flying. And then there's silver in the neck, silver mm. in the hands, mm. silver in the bag, silver in the shoes. Like, oh, who does that? Dear. I love the color. I love that it's a two piece. Yeah. She totally like uh, was daring to bear her midriff because you know that's not anything every Ugandan woman is. You know, know. Yeah, yeah. Would, you know. Yeah. And about Sharon, now Sharon, the dress is lovely. Why are I you love, looking sick? I love the. I love <laughs> yellow. Personally, I think it's one of my favorite colors. I love that it's a, a bit of lace up. Yeah. But Very I think elegant. the accessorizing was so underwhelming. Mm -hmm. And I would have loved, you know, should we all like, you know, women with long hair. Oh, side sweep. But if at all she had had her hair like away from the face and away from her bust and something like that. And probably like opted for a little bit more elaborate earrings mm -hmm. and something for the wrist. It would mm -hmm. totally have worked. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And our next look. Madame herself, Jennifer Musisi. Well, for, for starters, I mean, this is a clean lady. We can see what she has done with the city. And I'm thinking, wow, thank you. But when it has come to spread out with culture, we know the Nigerians for having that kind of fabric. And when it comes to Jennifer Musisi, I don't expect to see that because she's a lady that has curves and she usually does her makeup and all. I'm actually very disappointed because 
Why is she in that Niger dress? I, for one, think she was very. She played it safe. I mean, okay, we get it. It's elegant. It's age appropriate and stuff. But come on, you do not bring that to the red carpet. Like, come on. Yeah, I'm, I don't I'm the very carpet. underwhelmed. The African look, the Niger look, does not mean it is not. It cannot make it to the red carpet. It still can be a red carpet look, but it depends on the fit. The fit on the look and the styling. We need to style her. So I am I am I'm I'm, I'm disappointed, Jennifer. I have dressed oh, Jennifer be before and I Jennifer think she should have come to you again. Definitely. Yeah, right? <laughs> totally. Well next time she, she knows who to touch. look for. And this was a total miss for the premiere. Must I say that this person was actually in the movie and at least they would have made an effort. To first of all come early for their own movie premiere and dress the part. Chameleon, I should say I really respect your talent. You're a big shot in the industry. But come on, <laughs> were you at a club and you forgot about your event? An event that you actually had to be at? <laughs> come on, it's like even your bodyguards actually respected the dress code. You know, they, they, they got the memo. Um, totally disappointed you do not turn up for your own move for a movie premiere of your in own which movie. you stand wearing a jumper and chains and i'm like and a t-shirt who, who does that like you said i totally respect you chameleon but uh that was very very embarrassing and like we've, we all we all agree this is a movie he was in he starred and you know we're all excited he's now getting into the movie industry and wow <laughs> you know, <Sorry>. like Slavi <laughs> said earlier on, this is an educative show. We want to correct you and, yeah. you know, show you exactly what you're supposed to do. When we talk about swag, we don't talk about chains and jumpers mm -hmm. and your sneakers. Come on, this is your red carpet event. You want to show people the other side of you. I mean, who knew this guy could act? Exactly. Can yes. we get the dog chains away from the red carpet? Who is this stylist? Not me. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> who is your stylist? Are people following the, the dress codes when they get invited to the parties. If someone invites you to their party, I mean, it's the least that you can do. We want to see the pictures, we want to see how people are moderating with it. Even us with the Star Project want to see, you know, what you're matching your color with. So if you are invited to my theme party, if it happens because I know one time it will, I'm going to be giving you my drinks, my food, you're going to be at my venue. Have you seen people, are people actually following this party? People don't even care about the theme. You know, you say all black and someone comes wearing neon oh, colors. Oh dear. And you're thinking, we're done with that. Mm -hmm. Why are you here? As long as I go and eat and drink. That's why she's really saying, it's my food, yeah. it's my drink. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's courtesy. So um, many Ugandans do not respect that call. I've gone to pool parties and everybody's fully, please note, from sneakers huh, to jeans, a hat. Personally, I get really angry. I mean, I have a sarong on and my, you know, I... I, I do wear two-piece, yeah, yeah, on a good day. Yes. So, and, and, and I'm thinking, I've dared. I, I, I have my securities, but I've dared because I'm paying a courtesy call to this person. That is why we're here, to educate you about fashion, about themes, about how to dress. Well, that calls for a break. <laughs> Welcome back all from the break. I hope you've had so much fun with us as we are on, on the set. We're actually having a lot of fun bringing you all the fashion and bits. And next, the Whiskey Black Party. Did we get it right? I was really, really impressed. I, I was. And uh, there were a few misses, but I was really, really... You got them? You did a great job. The first look that we actually really liked Oh well, I uh, I ran into Helen Lukoma, and she was uh, she was uh, dressed in a black uh, romper. It was uh, it had a little bit of lace accent to it. Uh, she had these uh, very sexy pair of like uh, gold, and they had studs heels with golden studs, and the earrings were statement earrings. You know, there were chandelier earrings, and they were gold. And then the belt, the skinny belt, was gold as well, and the bangle bracelet was gold and you know she had this huge curly afro and 
You know, I felt it was a well put together look. Well, considering the fact that it is lace, you know, every I think every act, every kind of fabric and, you know, every kind of material has its own rules. Like people usually say pearls do not sit on the cloth. They just sit in the neck. And I'm thinking <laughs> lace does not actually need to sit on something. It's uh. lace already. We're trying to see inside your skin. So we have all that gold hair going on and we have the chandelier earrings going on. Then the lace is just right on top. Well... I do like you, Helen Lukoma, but uh, next time, just lose the earrings. Now that she mentioned it, I'm like, uh, the earrings are... Uh, but because of the gold hair, but she looked really beautiful. Um, I think she should lose the earrings. Uh, she, she was one of my best looks. She carried off that, that, that romper, the, that play suit, she carried off very well. Yes, I do agree, the earrings, because of the big hair, she should have had little, little studs. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, she's one of, she, I think she was, for me, one of the favorite look. Over to our next look, Lillian Bowersy. She just had a baby. I mean, she just had a second yeah. baby, and look at how amazing she looks. I, Women. Love, I love the simplicity. Yes, she's very simple, yeah. yeah. I love the collar, just with the dash of gold. I love the chain earrings. I love the turban. Uh, she looked very, very, like she didn't try so hard. And like you say, she's just a uh, uh, just had a baby. She I, looks yeah. Banging. And for the turban, you know, for you know, for all of you guys out there, when you're having a bad, bad when, when you're having a bad hair day, it's very easy to have a turban. As you can see, we have one right there. It's easy to just wrap up, wrap up if you don't want to do your hair. I don't want to think that the turban is usually or for only the bad hair days because I've spent a long time without actually seeing Lillian's hair. Can you tell me what it looks like? <laughs> like I haven't seen it in a while, but considering the fact that she has given, she has just given birth, I think chiffon is a very good color, for, a very good material for her. Mm -hmm. And considering the fact that it's black right now, it's mm -hmm. a slimming color. Mm -hmm. It won't show your tummy, or it won't show that you know you're just out of proportion, you're too small or you're too big. I think it's actually a good color. And finally, I get to see her. It's a good thing. And Nunu, can you talk about one oh, of your I, I did other interview uh, uh, Jor Joram Muzira. He wore an old black suit, and um, I liked um, the label. He had a pocket square. Exactly, the pocket square was sequined, mm. gold sequins. I love that he he really um, he made an effort. Yeah, he yes. made an effort. He, the fit of that suit, the tail coat and the pants. I do not know. Nowadays, I feel it's a little bit. Men should be, you know, calm, you know, people should, men should actually opt for a little, you know, form-fitting things. I felt that blazer was not, you know, I felt it was so boxy and I do not even know that it fit really right. But besides that, everything else was, yeah, he was, followed was the quite theme. right. Yeah. Perfect. It was the all-black party. And yes, of course, we, there were some misses. Oh, Jackie, girl, you didn't stand out, like, literally. Red, all black party. I would totally not have had an issue if that uh, romper was all black and stuff. But then, come on, it's red. And then when you go down a little bit, she has these uh, body sockings on that do not tot they do not complement. They do not match her skin. Her skin, skin. tone. Uh, I just want to know what she was telling you. What, you know, what were you like? saying? Oh, she told me, yeah, I had it was an all black party, and I was like, why do I need to wear black? Let me wear red so I can stand out. You know, I still have a question for you. Was she invited? Was she performing there? No, she just stand up. She was a guest. I have you. no comment. <laughs> I, I do have a comment because for someone like Jackie Chanduru, I mean, we know she all thinks that she's not a gold digger, and come on, let's see that. <laughs> Because when you look at her hair, she just bandaged it up and it's oh falling God. to the other side. Uh -huh. Can we see it neatly, you know, pulled up? And I do love that jacket because it looks like, you know, she's trying to air host and all. But, you know, with the stockings that she's wearing, she's not exactly doing that. So for the next time that she's going to, an, you know, a themed party, I think she should actually wear that, you know. The, the, the color that she's supposed to. <laughs> there we go, guys. <laughs> it's hot. It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. We told you, it's at the Star Project. We uh, we we say it as it is. It's our opinions. And next time, don't let us cut you off guard. Over to our next miss. I must say sorry. This is my girl. Actually, I am gonna be in a music video of of Keiko. 
Yes, I am. Keith, what do you think about her look with the glasses, the round? Well, what I can see are the chipped nails. Keiko has chipped nails right there. <laughs> I actually didn't know that she wears nail polish. I credit her for that and I'm just saying, Keiko, you need to just polish up your nails. It's either that nail polish is not there or it's there. And then for the, you know, is it a t-shirt? Was it a jumper? I'm not sure what it was exactly. Yeah. Oh, those are white sneakers? Okay. Who does that? Who does that? Who does that? I feel <laughs> this look was a total miss from head to toe. I noticed she has these, what was it? Are those mittens or like hand gloves? And they're only on one hand. It's a Michael Jackson kind of. The pants are right, but then the shoes, the sneakers are white. I mean. Well, 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 that wraps up. That wraps up the all black party. <laughs> All the way from Kampala, Uganda, to Los Angeles for the LACMA Awards. We are going to be talking about what were our best looks. I personally would like to start off with my best look of the evening. This is Jennifer Lopez, everybody. She's 43 years old and look at how she looks. She's like, she looks like she's like 21. She's awesome. I don't know what has happened to her the last few years. She literally has a turnaround. I guess she looked stunning. For someone her age, uh, that's a banging body. I like the dress. It's uh, I like the, the deep V, and uh, you know her boobs are not too much. She looks very sensual, not too sexy. Um, I love the glitter. She's a very very elegant. I, I do I do love the look. Jennifer Lopez has from way long time been my best actress. Even if she has few movies, you know she she also acts other than you know just singing and having 43 43 at her age. So considering the fact that you know for the previous you know, awards that went on, she was wearing the Versace and she had a lot of, you know, chunky yeah, necklace so. going on and she had the earrings going on. So with this look, I'm actually like, okay, so you can keep it calm. Mm. I like it. Next, that's a Gucci dress. And I noticed Gucci, I think uh, the dresses he made, and especially for this event, had that at the line, at the hem, uh, at the, the neckline, the, the sequence. But it's such an, she looked like a goddess. It's a very elegant dress i like the way she held up her hair i like the, the very slight slit it's not it's not mm. very indecent you know you actually if if you saw us yeah look at that at the back, look at the back. Awesome. i would i would really love to wear that dress mm. and again would uh, you wear that dress? i would so wear that dress no 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 uh, let's let's go back to that because um i would I, would a smaller size body wear that dress don't just say would you would you take would you would you wear that dress, Nunu? Guys, for anyone who knows me and you guys, I am very daring. I am, I, like I said, I, I defy the norm. I think for me, fashion is about confidence, yeah? Personally, I would, I would wear it because I, I, for me, it would be, it would be about confidence. Mm -hmm. I don't know about how I would, you know, about the shape and the size, but though we have to be, you know, clear about that. You know, there's some outfits that don't suit particular sizes, there's some, uh, colors and are good uh, not don't suit particular skin tones even i bet there's people her size who would not wear that dress because mm. they're not confident enough and to wear it she looks like she has it all together i mean everyone says she has nice legs she has nice legs and she's thinking you know what i can actually wear something yes. long i got it all together yes. and you know it's everything is just subtle yes. when i see this dress at the front the front view is totally understated chic mm. until she turns around and bam you know you notice the draping <laughs> on the behind at the back <laughs> yes <laughs> And then the slit on the side, I think this is a very, you know, it takes lots of, you know, confidence. confidence. Yeah. What do you think, think about the hair? Is, I think the updo was very appropriate for this look. Well, and there, the and there you now. go, Uganda. Here at the Style Project, we're trying to show you the looks that are doing there. So be inspired by the all international looks. So the next time, we want to be able to cover you there as the best dressed. Cliff, over to you. Who was your favorite? You know, I, when I looked at the LMSC awards and I saw everybody that was coming up, I was totally, totally shocked. It's not like this kind of person was actually my best type of person, but when you listen to her songs, baby, come and get it, na 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 na, you're thinking, okay, she's saying, come and get it, I'm all naked and everything. <laughs> And you know, considering the fact that she has had this Justin Bieber saga going on, but when I actually saw her on the LMAC Awards and she's dressed in this gorgeous oh, long dress, she had her black nail polish and she just decided to put just, a, you know, the hair on the side and let the other side flip off. 
she didn't show too much yeah. i'm thinking okay this is what we should be getting mm. yeah mm. She awesome. i love it you know she's very pretty she's very she has that very um naive look and uh she really pulls it off this dress was selena gomez wolf saying look guys i'm growing i've come yeah. of age you know it's very you know elegant you know and you know it's form fitted and it's whenever you look at the fabric it has just the right amount of shimmer i think it's mm. very you know it totally this totally does work for and her totally i mean it's the yeah she's young so the youth of uganda should be able to see that so we're not just covering people like jello's 43 so we're basically covering every every generation And next, over to you, Solomon. What do you? What is your look? What is your miss for the LSEMA Awards? We had the fashion power couple. Let me start with Kim Kardashian. Oh, oh Kim Kardashian West. Kim West, whatever yeah. it is. That dress looks unfinished. It's like the tailor ran out of time, and you know, you were like, oh, I have this event to attend. Get the dress. You know, I must <laughs> get into this dress. I feel it's all over the place i do not even know what you know whatever the, the the person who made it was trying to you know put out or what you're trying to communicate i love the color the color is really nice it totally accentuates your skin tone but i do not like it's you know how it fits and what the you know the the different things going on it's drapey and mm. then it's tied at the uh, the, the bottom and then it flares out and then and there's this the spaghetti, this the... suggestion of a slit that's not a slit Gamba. Uh, the choker is really i think it's it's really nice i like how you slick back your hair i only wish the dress was form fitted all the way to the bottom and for kanye, kanye. the tunic miss the pants leather the shoes safari i mean what's that i think uh, kanye was going for a uh, safari like as if ben. Moya Lodge, eh? <laughs> then, <laughs> then he remembered the other concert <laughs> huh? Then he I said, eh, but I want to go to India. Huh? Here's the, 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 the tunic. The tunic. Mm -hmm. They said, oh man, I have a meeting with Obama, hence the blazer. As in, is he like, does he have a personal disorder? Or you guys are killing like, me. No, no, You're no, killing no. me. No. <laughs> this, I, is, yes. this is too much. Kim, um, mm -hmm. um, I feel like she was walking to this event and then like... <laughs> There was a nail or something and it Got ripped stuff. her dress mm -hmm. and she's like, you know what? I'm a diva. I'll walk with my tone dress. Oh dear. Uh, oh dear. Uh, Clay, and finally, Cliff, what do you think? I totally understand these guys are in love. Like they are the couple that everyone is saying, oh my God, oh my God, in the family. This is a red, it's more of a red carpet. Can we have more pauses? You know, other than like, I see you, you see me. Oh, you can find that they actually agreed. Let's be lousy. Seriously? You, yeah, because really, who, who does that? Who wants to do that? Who does that? Oh, who that? does that? <laughs> hey, you guys, just threw bottles at you know who. Kim and Kanye, the world's most famous couple. Thank you guys for watching the Style Project. I hope you had as much fun as we did. Uh, remember to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you next time. Next week on the Style Project. I think guys are very sexy in shorts and moccasins. You can never go wrong. Even if they have not very good legs, they will still, they would still look. I think it looks really nice. And that is a perfect combination for any type of jewelry, any type of shoes, any type of blazer, any type of necklace, even hairstyle. Uh, the very first outfit was a, it was an asymmetrical dress. Everybody's changing their, their, their fashion sense. I don't need to go get another pair of earrings because guess what? I could get late for the wedding.